So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right. You lose this belt. It's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Johnson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Champion of the world, Big. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Well, what an unbelievable venue and backdrop for this mixed martial arts event here tonight. You know, the first stadium show we ever did was at Roger Center in Toronto. Here we are at the Scotia. UFC 129, 50,000 fans. But tonight, in Toronto, the Scotiabank Arena, which has also been home to some great UFC title fights. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Great job landing from the top position. Look at Lamont here. He's got to start throwing down. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. All right, full guard here. If you're the top fighter, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to pass to the next position. Get the half guard so I can get my ground and pound off. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. The master class in changing position, unreal to see. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Johnson. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Yeah. 
Jones. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nice transition. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Johnson. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Johnson's back in full now. This is where he wants to be. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Oh, high-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Johnson. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Moving his head here on the ground, Chant. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back, and it helps him to evade those strikes. Good work from the top here by Johnson. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Oh, nice. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Johnson's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Always offensive, lands a shot from the bottom. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Johnson. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Johnson. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Blocks the shot. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. That shot blocked by Johnson. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Final seconds of the round. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Big right hand. Take down oh, defense on top. Holy smokes. Oh, how about the judo toss there? It's not as easy as it looks, I can assure you. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Johnson. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. 
Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Beautiful entry and finish on that takedown. Look for him to try to advance now to get to a dominant position. Nice shot there by the champ. Beautiful transition. Yep, gotta be very careful there. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Now he's going full mount. He's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, staying busy from top position. Like he lands another ground strike there. In the half guard. He's in the mouth. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, he got to his spot. Beautiful ground and pound, and that would cut him. Oh, good ground and pound here. Under two minutes to go. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this fight. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry him through these very tough moments. Well, he's got his back now. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut, try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. I don't even want to fight no more, but I, I do love uh, a little damage. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Constantly a moving target. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, he got saved by the bell there. He was getting absolutely starched on the ground, grounded and pounded. Thankfully, the horn came at a good time. You see, gingerly, he gets back to his feet. He'll go back to the stool now for 60 seconds. Now the onus is on his corner to try to keep him in the fight.
You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice counter shot there. Single leg takedown. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Johnson. Oh, right into Mount. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Well, good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. That was a slick transition. Now he's inside the Oh, nice headlock. Ooh, that looks pretty tight. Great submission defense. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Plans a big elbow there. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Herb Dean steps in! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritize the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 35 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Johnson. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.